I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a piano that we just finished, barely, uh, yesterday I believe. It's an 1898 Krakauer, and uh, we did a full restoration of the inside and a full refinishing of the outside, um, and it turned out just awesome. So I'm really excited to, to show this one off. Um, this, cosmetically, uh, this is a Cortison, Cortison Oak, and I think it's gorgeous. The texture is just super smooth. So let's let's just get some shots of how beautiful it is. Those legs and uh, petals. And the matching stool. It's a very, very pretty piano. Our logo and those keys those keys were they were in terrible condition when they came in and now they're gorgeous but enough focusing on the exterior because the vast majority of work that we did was on the inside probably I don't know, 90, 90 plus percent 95 percent was on the inside Let's check that out. 1898, there it is. That's all replaced. We refinished the, refinished the plate. These are all just kind of, um, it's an archive ink. Beautiful plate and an automotive paint on there. We've got tuning pins that are all, all of these tuning pins have the correct torque. So not too tight, not too loose. If they're too tight, and, and this has happened before, um, I've, I've uh, actually broken this tuning pin. I mean, it's a pretty solid piece of steel. If it's too tight, those will break. If it's too loose, of course it won't hold, or it won't hold at least long term. Proper torque is about 100 to 120 pounds of torque. And each one, as we restring, we go through and ensure that, that each one has the proper amount. Um, the uh, hammers, of course, that's that's a obvious one. All of those are brand new. And the dampers, the dampers are all replaced. And I've put triple dampers on here. My experience is that um, when I replace the dampers with the original size, which generally the, the size on on these is is either what one and three eighths or one and three quarters long, which is the original size from you know, 100 years ago, that people tend to complain. They say, well, there's still an echoey sound in there. I thought you were going to get rid of that when you rebuilt it. I did. So this is what I did probably, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago or more. So I'd replace it with the same size damper. And I'd say, well, it's, it's all new. I don't know why it's echoey until I, until I started to replace them with larger dampers, two and a quarter. So quite a bit larger than the original, and now the, the echoiness is 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 more up to kind of modern modern tastes, modern standards, and and people like that much better. And then of course, lots of work in the action. The hammer butts are all brand new, and the and the bridle straps there. The, it's hard to see, but the the let off button down in there. All of those let off buttons are replaced. And the little screws, so those screws can often break off when, when regulating it, so all those are replaced. Everything is just tight and properly aligned. We've got new felt, like back here, all of that felt is, well, that's cloth actually, has been replaced. And lots of cloth throughout, like behind the keys, under the keys, all of the cloth throughout. And then we also, on this one, did a, a new bridge on the base. This bridge. Oh, there's pretty good light in here. So that bridge is all, is all brand new and that's patterned. We make a pattern 
of, of exactly what was there, the string, uh, the, the configuration of those, of the way the string crosses and the, the bridge pins, the exact location. Then we duplicate it with the new bridge. Soundboard, see the soundboard, we, when the soundboard was off, any cracks, there, and there were a number of them. And you can see the, the shims, like, like down here, you can see the crack. We've shimmed that, goes up to there, sanded it all smooth and lacquered it. That's a beautifully done soundboard. Had some cracks in this bottom panel here. So those are all glued, and we've got these little joints that go across the, the glue joint to repair that. New casters. Well, let's listen to it. That's uh, my, my experience is when we redo these pianos, a lot of people think that they're just basically worthless. Um, and and I've, I've heard that and fought against it, frankly, for my full piano career of 25 years, 26 years now. I fought against that idea that these pianos are just good for nothing but to be thrown away. And, uh, and now you can see why, why I fought against that. I mean, yeah, they. They need to be redone because 100 years, nothing can last 100 years. But uh, and, and so, so people automatically, in my experience, they dismiss them as as worthless. And uh, that's just that is never ever my experience. That when they're redone with new components, even though with the exception of the dampers, they're 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 redone with the original specs of uh, what was done 100 years ago. They just sound awesome. And and I have no no question in my mind that this piano is going to now endure for another many decades. So uh, very happy with how this piano turned out. Thanks for watching.